sequence in the form of a1 a2 a3 these are the elements of the sequence and let's say an minus 1 and an these were n terms n terms in a sequence and what type of sequence was it there is some important property which we discussed last time and this was that if a2 upon a1 is equal to a3 upon a2 is equal to a4 upon a3 what all these what all are these these are you know nothing but they are ratio of consecutive terms so an upon an minus 1 if it is a constant value r okay so then we say that this particular sequence is geometric progression okay this is gp hmm so very vital for all your exams especially next year's kvpy and uh, yes if you are writing ntsc this is going to be very very helpful geometric progression right so then we had this first thing of general term general term of a gp okay so you can see a2 by a1 is equal to r this implies a2 is equal to a1 r then a3 upon a2 was r again so this implies a3 is equal to a2 times r and a2 itself was a1 r so a1 r square correct and so on and so forth if you see a4 by a3 is equal to r this implies a4 is equal to a3 r which is equal to again a1 r cubed so what do we say we say keep on going like that a to the a n nth term of a gp will be given by a1 r n this is the first formula and corresponding formula in ap was nth term an for tn was a plus n minus 1 b here you can say a1 let's say a is equal to a1 first term first term then any nth term of the gp will be of the form of a r n minus 1 so corresponding formula for nth term of a gp this was corresponding this was formula for nth term of an ap where d is the common difference here r is the common ratio any difficulty in this clearly uh, a gp with zero is not allowed right so none of a1 a2 a3 can be zero why because then division by zero is not allowed so a1 a2 a3 none of them are equal to zero so zero is not allowed in gp r could be plus minus r could be greater than 1 r could be less than 1 whatever value but not zero okay find question number 1 a9 for for no not necessary not necessary natural numbers not necessary rational numbers we are mostly dealing with rational numbers so here is the example which will make it clear 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 1 minus 2 find ninth term in this quick so this is a gp first of all tell me the common ratio find the ninth term find the ninth term quickly n is less than 0 where is n less than 0 n is number of number of if n is natural see number cannot be number of number of something cannot be anything but natural number i am talking about the the elements the members of gp could be anything there is no restriction as to it has to be a natural number but number of terms has to be natural numbers only no so a9 is how much you cannot have 22.5th term no significance of such thing so yes quick find out a9 tell me what is the first term in this use the formula 
use the formula a n is a r n minus one. So clearly, a is one upon four. How do I find out? Find out r. Take the ratio of any two consecutive terms. So minus one by two divided by one by four. This is r. This is minus two. Is it? So what is a nine? Is equal to a r to the power eight n minus one. So a is one upon four into minus two to the power eight. Okay. So answer is sixty four. Question number two. Again, keep in mind, a n is equal to a r n minus one. Yep. Now, consider this G P two one one by two one by four. Right. So, in this G P, which term is one point one upon one twenty eight? Find n in this case, right? So a is two. R is how much is R? One upon two. Correct. So a n is equal to one by one twenty eight is equal to a into R n minus one. You have to find out n minus one. So one twenty eight is two to the power minus seven, one upon one twenty eight, and this is a is two, and r is one by two to the power n minus one. Correct. So two to the power minus seven is equal to two to the power one into two to the power minus n minus one. Right. So this is two to the power minus seven is equal to two to the power one minus n minus one. That means minus seven is equal to one minus n plus one, right? That means n is equal to nine. 